Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about continuous data protection. Now, I first want to start off with what is continuous data protection? Continuous data protection is the ability to back up almost in real time. So if we're looking at applications, files, and folders, uh, anytime they're changed, saved, or altered, we're going to be able to capture that in real time. So basically, you have your your typical backup scheme that's running. This is going once a day, uh, Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. So you're getting one incremental uh, full full entire machine backup once a day. But with the continuous data protection on as well, you're going to get a file and folder level backup whenever any of the applications or file and folders that you choose are changed or altered. So you're going to have a CDP or a file and folder backup based on real time changes. And then you're still going to get those once a day incremental backups. And when these incrementals run, you have that file and folder level um, backup kind of build into that incremental scheme. So that way you're um, able to capture more data real time and give you the ability to recover um, more frequently without missing any data if we're running on that daily scheme. Um, now to come into that backup plan and toggle that on, you basically just flip this switch right here. Prerequisite is a advanced backup license for the machine as well. I just want to make that clear. Um, then this next option bit here gives us the ability to um, select what we want to protect continuously. Now we have office documents, which gives you a whole bunch of different uh, applications that we're able to protect in real time. Here's a pretty extensive list. Uh, the next option would be your engineering, which it gives you your Autodesk and AutoCAD. Um, and then your imaging and video gives you your movie maker, paint, photo or gallery, and the rest of them here. Um, if there's any other applications, you can go ahead and add those applications as a one-off here as well. Just got to put the path to the application in uh, this add applications box. If we want to protect at a file and folder level instead, we can come in here, browse the machine by selecting files and folders, and we can grab which file or which folder we want to continuously protect as well. So not only at the application level, but we can also do it at the file and folder level. What that looks like when you go to recover, let me see if I can find a machine here that has a CDP backup on it. Um, do, 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 just because we uh, did talk about it. You'll have an option that'll say CDP. So basically when we see uh, CDP backup, we know that's gonna be the file and folder level backup. Let me just see if we got one here. You can see these are all incremental. So that's not what we're looking for. Believe, yeah, here we go. We have a CDP backup, which will give us the ability to recover at a file and folder level. And then we also have your incremental scheme. So when you do the CDP, you're always going to have a CDP is your most recent. And then you're going to have that incremental from the previous day or the previous backup after that. And if you want to recover either a full image or a file and folder, you do have that option. You just don't have that run as VM option from the CDP backup. Hope this gives you a little bit more information on continuous data protection. Thanks for joining today's video. We'll see you on the next one.